So this is the final at 149 pounds as Justin Oliver of Central Michigan takes on Colin Heffernan of Central Michigan. I won't be the person to throw out the I bet someone from Central Michigan wins joke. I'll leave that up to you. But we're here in the first period. 122 left, no change in position. Still neutral, no score, 0-0. Zero, zero. And I'm sure this is going to be a low-scoring match because these guys probably wrestle each other every day in the room. Noach. We're out of bounds. We head back to the center. And Heffernan is the starter for Central Michigan. Last week knocked off in overtime. Returning All-American B.J. Claygon of Ryder. The Claygon also dropped a match to Mike De Palma of Kent State. Conditioning might have been a factor. Not saying it was, just a suggestion. So on Oliver's, on Oliver's route to the finals, he knocked off Lubbock of Wisconsin, Goble of Finley, and Fickle of Ashland. And Heffernan's road to the finals, he knocked off Blanton, Crone, and Mersich. And had a bye in the first round. So that's both of their ways to the finals. And the eruptions you hear are coming from mat number two, where Steve Gleese of Northern Illinois leads... Zach Horan of Central Michigan, 4-1 in the third period with 41 seconds left. So Heffernan rolls out after choosing down to start the second period, gets the one-point escape, riding time for Oliver, currently at 19 seconds, so not a factor. And Heffernan, Heffernan leads 1-0. And with that win over Claygon that I mentioned earlier, CP moved Heffernan from 13 up to 11 in this week's flow rankings. And not a lot of action going on here. Steve Bleese knocks off Zach Haran. Steve Bleese came in. 41. Zach Haran was 14 and Bleese was 15, so most likely they'll just have them flip-flop next week. No change in position here. End of the second period. Start in the third period. Oliver selects down. Heffernan covers on that right side with the tight waist. And slips off, and Oliver gets the reversal, takes the lead 2-1. to one. And Heffernan with the quick escape. So we're all tied up here. 14 seconds on the riding time, so that's not a factor. 144 left. <clears throat> so 
So now, essentially, a takedown will win it here in this third period. And there's Oliver's first warning for stalling. No action. No attempt to move forward. So referee hits him. That's his first warning. Next one will be a point. I wouldn't be surprised if Heffernan gets hit. It's Oliver with the underhook. And Heffernan just trying to circle out of it. And Heffernan with a snag on that right side. But Oliver doing a good job wizarding down. Has to get his foot down to the mat. Trying to limp leg out. And Heffernan comes up around the waist mistakenly. And the referee stops it. Cole's potentially dangerous. We're back to the center. 14 seconds left in this third period. We're tied 2-2. For Justin Oliver from Central Michigan and Colin Heffernan also from Central Michigan. Heffernan the starter on the team. So this would be a huge win for Oliver if he could knock off the guy who's standing in front of him. So, sudden death overtime, first point wins. And so far, Heffernan's been in deep on more shots than Oliver. So, I would give him the advantage heading into this overtime. But keep in mind, Oliver has been hit and doing a great job of trying to keep his toes in bounds but just runs out of real estate. So we're back to the center, 24 seconds left. And Oliver in on a deep shot. But Heffernan not giving up anything. Oliver's still in deep. They're both diving through and no change. Beautiful scramble. So it'll be Oliver's choice to start this 32nd period. And he selects the down position. So Heffernan immediately two a half on the left side. Big lift, returns Oliver. Oliver looks for a roll. Gets his knees back under him, and Heffernan drives him right out of bounds. No change, Oliver's still down. Oliver gets set. Heffernan covers on the left side. Comes up to his feet. Does Oliver. Heffernan stays low, gets a quick two count from the referee for that stalling. Let's go, comes up to his feet, and Oliver escapes with three seconds left. So now Heffernan's choice, he will go down. Riding time should be at 30. Heffernan's down. Oh, riding time. Yep, you're right. All set with the clock. Thirty seconds on the clock.
Heffernan comes up to his feet. And this is where Oliver has to be careful because not only is he high right now, he doesn't want to give up the reversal or the stall call. And he gives up the reversal. No. Referee does award the two for the reversal. But now Oliver gets the one point for the escape. So we're back tied. We're going to go one more minute on the clock. So we're all set with the clock. Working on the riding time right now. So one minute's back on the clock. Back to the center. Takedown wins it. More confusion with the clock. So 55 seconds now left here in this period. 13 seconds on the riding time clock. Now takedown wins it. Here in this final match at 149 pounds between Justin Oliver of Central Michigan and Colin Heffernan of Central Michigan. And Oliver looking to hit that. And Heffernan in on a double leg, but Oliver being able to scramble comes up somehow with a high crotch situation. They go out of bounds, we're back to the center. No change, 11 seconds left. So that'll do it. Three, two, one. That'll do it for the sudden death over time. Heffernan, Heffernan's choice. Red top. Red is on top. So Oliver gets high again and gives up the escape. So the in-match adjustments could be what hurt Justin Oliver if Heffernan's able to ride him out. Getting too high on top. And Heffernan in on a swing single, five seconds left, so he's just gonna look to hold on here. Heffernan's choice on top, and Oliver looking to erase the riding time. And up next at 165 pounds, we'll have Chad Welsh of Purdue wrestling Logan Massa of the University of Michigan. And Heffernan doing a good job. Textbook 
Switching to that double. Matt returns. Two seconds left. But Heffernan has the 31 seconds of riding time, so Oliver needs to get a takedown, and he's not going to. So that'll do it. At 149 pounds, Colin Heffernan wins.